Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas coming at you from Providencialis of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Katina and I are here celebrating all kinds of things and we are here to do the massive food challenge that we did yesterday at Big Al's Island Grill. That was the only food challenge on the island but we didn't want to come all the way here just to eat sliders and onion rings for you guys so we are doing three dinner is served style videos while we're here. I'm going to be doing this one by myself. Katina will be with me for the next two, but right now I am at Turk's Kebab. I had to include this restaurant as part of this series because I ate here a few days ago. It was amazing. They specialize in Turkish and Mediterranean food here on the islands. I've got a whole spread, a massive feast here, but it's about six to six and a half pounds total. We've got lots. We've got over here a whole bunch of chicken shish, which are chicken skewers. There's some healthy vegetables with all the chicken. We've got a delicious, I've already had one of these, a gyro is what they call them here with the meat and then more healthy vegetables and tzatziki sauce. We've got some vegetarian, we've got 10 falafel here. We do have 10 of the beef kofta meatballs right here. And then one of the owners, Zamar, she is from here on the island. She's got her own hot sauce, which is available, but that is on these three jumbo chicken wings. We've got three dipping sauces here. We've got some hummus, we've got tzatziki, and then we've got spinach dip. Right here, I cannot wait for this because I didn't get to try it uh, the last time we were here, and I've never had a Turkish pizza, but this is a spinach and feta pita. Along the way, I'm gonna have this beer. There's only one brewery on the island, Turk's Head Brewery. I'm going to have a Turk's Head Light, which they call I Soon Reach. So we've got all this, no real time limit. We're just gonna get it all down and enjoy this feast, but let's get it started. All right, no Atlas for this one because it is just a dinner is served style video. I don't know how much it costs, we'll find out after this, but big, big thank you to Yeet and Zamar, the owners here at Turks Kebab on Providenciales, Turks and Caicos Islands, but Yeet is actually from Turkey, and then Zamar is from here on the island. But big thanks to them for having me in to enjoy this feast. The weather's been beautiful the whole time we've been here. Let's just dig in and enjoy. One, two, three. Boom. All right, I'm gonna start over here with a chicken shish. This chicken looks tender. I'm gonna start it in the spinach. Oh yeah, that is good. Even after waiting a little bit to get started. A lot of meat with this challenge, but also enjoying the healthy vegetables. That is some delicious kofta. One of my favorite things to get when I get Mediterranean or any kind of similar foods. Lebanese is always good too. Katina and I are doing a brewery tour of this place tomorrow. We're excited for that. Let's do one of these chicken wings. That is jumbo, that's awesome. I'm gonna add even a little bit more of the Zamar sauce. They're even giving me one to take home, which is much appreciated. It's pretty hot, but it's got a lot of flavor. Let's have some falafel. I had this the other day and it was delicious. Falafel's always good. For those who don't know, it's vegetarian made with chickpeas. That tzatziki sauce is awesome. Wings are gone, now let's finish the kofta and the falafel. Seven minutes and 52 seconds in. This is all going down so smooth, this is delicious. We've got two more falafel and then we'll move on to the, the carbs, along with finishing these chicken shish. This is just accoutrement, but it's healthy lettuce, so I'm gonna finish it. 
All right, I've been most excited about this since it was so good a couple days ago when I had it, but let's finish half of this gyro. And yes, I'm used to calling it Euro, but they call it gyro here, so we are fitting in with the environment when in Rome or when in Turks and Caicos. And it might be when in Turkey. I haven't been there yet. It's not going to be my favorite of all this deliciousness, but I was impressed with the chicken wings. I thought those were amazing. They were very tender. Let's work on some of this spinach and feta pita. That bread is amazing, and I love all the healthy vegetables. Rest of the gyro. Adam and Nancy, who were staying with through their Airbnb, they said Turk's Kebab is their go-to place multiple times per week for lunch, and now I know why. This is all so good. We're gonna use these chicken shish to finish up the dipping sauces, and then we'll finish up the pita. But ooh, so good, let's get it all down. He's got like 1.2 million followers on uh, YouTube, and then 1.3 on Facebook. And then- For eating? Uh, for eating, yes. The tzatziki sauce is down, now we're gonna work on the hummus and the spinach. Very flavorful. minutes 38 seconds we're done with everything other than the spinach and feta pita I've been excited since finding out the menu this morning with how much chickpea is going to be involved there's even chickpeas with this uh, pita so good but let's get it down and get the win and I'm gonna finish off with the Turks Head IPA I do enjoy the feta on this as well. This IPA doesn't pair well with the feta, <laughs> but it's still going down okay, we're gonna get it. Ah, yeah. 26 minutes and 31 seconds to finish all that delicious, delicious food here from Turks Kebab on the island of Providenciales of the Turks and Caicos Islands. All of that was so amazing. I've got to say, I loved the gyro, I loved the chicken wings, I loved the chicken shish. All of that was great. If I had to come back and get just one thing, I've never had one of those pitas before. The bread on that, the chickpeas, the spinach, the feta, all of that was just phenomenal. And they've got more of those options, uh, similar ones here. But yeah, big, big thank you to Yeet from Turkey and then Zamar, who's from here on the islands, for having me in to enjoy all of this deliciousness. We're gonna be doing a lot more local foods, seafood, uh, all around they're known for conch. We've had so much conch already since we've been here, but I'll be doing two more dinner served style feasts with Katina Eats Kilos the next two days. And if you haven't watched the Big Ales Island Grill actual food challenge video, the link is down in the description. But thank you guys for watching.